Well, we're just days away from 2015, and that means we all get another shot at our New Year's resolution. And one of the most common promises we make to ourselves deals with money, whether it's to spend less, save more. It can be difficult to figure out how to make it stick. Nicole Middendorf is a financial advisor with Prosper Well Financial and is here to help us with our money issues and hoping in the new year we can do it right. This yes, year. absolutely. Hopefully you can be in a better financial state next year. So one of the key things is in these final days of 2014, we're thinking about our tax taxes for next year. Are there any last minute deductions we should be thinking about? Yes, you can add to the traditional IRA. You could add to the Roth, but that's not going to give you a deduction. But you could add to the traditional IRA if you're under 50, 5,500. If you're 50 or older, you can do 6,500 and that could give you a possible extra deduction. You do have until April 15th to get the money right. into the account, but that's one thing you can do. If you own a business, that's really where the huge benefits can come in. So buying a car, which we were talking about this off air, <laughs> buying a car, you can get a $25,000 immediate deduction this wow. year if it's over 6,000 pounds. So there's various things, you know, I always look at why should you spend money in January or there's, if there's things that, you're, that you could do before the year is over, take advantage of them. Yeah, and when we're talking about the end of the year, going into next year, for those of us who invest, you hear one thing of sell before the new year, others say wait, what do you think is the best idea? You really want to look at, okay, how, it's always about maximizing your money. So where can you maximize gains? And do you have anything that's a loss that you either received or you bought? I mean, so many times people buy a stock and then they forget about it. And so if you have a stock that you've lost money on, you, I would seriously look at considering selling it before mm -hmm. the year is over. Mm -hmm. Because let's say it's a $3,000 loss. You could then take $3,000 of a loss on your return, which will help you. You can always then go back and buy that stock back in 30 days right. and that you'll still able to use that loss but the biggest thing is maximizing the losses that you do have if you have any to offset some of those gains because a lot of us have made a lot of money it's been a great a couple of years here in the stock market but make sure that you're being smart it's always always you don't want to regret something take right. a look at your financial situation and take advantage of things before the year is over you got a couple of days right and going in the new year when we're thinking of saving that's going to be one of my New Year's resolutions. <laughs> um, 401k is an easy way to do that and there's a change this year. Absolutely. You're able to put a little bit more money away, whopping $500 more. Mm -hmm. So $18,000 a year is the max that you can put away into that 401k plan if you're under 50. And why does it work so great? Because you don't see the money. Mm -hmm. It's taken from you before you receive your paycheck. But the other thing I would encourage you to do if you're looking at saving in, more in the new year is set up a Roth IRA okay. and automatically put money away. Because I'm just like you. If I have money, I go out and I spend it. I'm stopping at the store on the way yeah. home after this. And so the more that you can set up automatically, the better off you are. Think about all the things that you want next year or in the future. Right. Retirement, kids, college, a cabin, whatever it is, and set up those accounts that you're putting money away every single month. And that can just apply to your overall budget too. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thanks.